hello guys so in this video we will solve this problem so we will jump directly to the example assume she finds two stones and their differences are two and three respectively we know she starts from the zero stone not included in her count the permutation of differences for the two stones would be two 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 three three two three three as you can see the problem statement doesn't explain anything and we don't get get much idea from the problem statement but if you read the function description and sample input and output you will get much more idea about what this problem is so function description states that n is an integer the number of non-zero stones a is one possible integer difference and b is another possible integer difference so here the input format is t the number of test cases is in the first line and the next three lines are the first n equal to the number of non zero stones a one possible difference and b another possible difference so we will see this problem in this uh, problem this 2 first 2 is number of test cases that is this t and this 3 is number of stone non zero stones 1 is first, dif first possible difference and 2 is another possible difference this is test case number 1 3 1 2 and this is test case number 2 4 10 100 that is 4 is number of non zero stones 10 is first difference and second is 100 is another possible difference so the sample output is 2 3 4 and 30 120 2 110 and 300 so how do they calculated this is that by we will consider this first test case 3 1 2 in this as the first stone is zero stone we can add the difference of one or two and see and there are only maximum two stones so the number of stones here it, it will be three that is number of elements will be three including zero so if we add one and one two times uh, the final stone number will be 2 and if we add 0 plus 1 plus 2 equal to 3 if we add 0 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 equal to 3 if we add 0 plus 2 plus 2 equal to 4 note that the number of stones maximum stones will be 2 so you can add these differences only 2 times that is 1 and 2 only 2 times because the number of stones are 3 including 0 so you can add these numbers only 2 times and in the second test case that is number of stones are 4 that is including 0 so you can add this 10 and 100 3 times that is here so adding this 10 and 100 in different combinations you will get this number of stones at the last of your addition that is 30, 120, 120, 210 and so on. So if you observe if you add the first difference 3 times you will get 30 and if you add the second difference that is 100 3 times you will get 300 and all these elements are lies in between this 30 and 300 so we will use this information to solve our problem so we will jump directly to the problem and this what we need is what we need to return is an array so we will define an array Using dynamic memory allocation.
so why I have given here n because if you observe n is number of non-zero stones and the result is also 4 and when n is 3 the result is, resulting array is also 3 so we need array size of n and there is another information I want to tell you is that if you see the first element and last element we don't need any information more than this n and these elements because you we can count this first element and last element by just multiplying this 10 into non zero stones this 4 includes 0 also so 10 into 3 will be the first element and 100 into 3 will be the last element the element by multiplying 10 into 3 will get the first element and you just have to add difference between the 100 and 10 into 30 you will get the second element and adding 90 you will get the third element and adding 90 you will get the fourth element so we will use this logic to solve our problem so number of resulting array will be n and what if there is another special case in which if a equal to b resulting resulting array will be containing only one element and minus one result count will be one You will find out found out that if you don't give these three statements you will face you will, some of your test cases will fail and in, in else part we will write our main logic we will count our first element that is number of non-zero stores that is n minus 1 into a will get the first element we have to add the difference between this a and b we need one variable for that and we need to find the next element of an array resulting array so as we know the first element of array is this that is n minus 1 into a you need to count you need to count the arrays you need to get the arrays from index 1 less than n we just need to this difference we have counted into the first element of array so we will get the next element of our array, of our array. we also need to q sort it We also need to queue sort our array because sometimes the array will not be in ascending order. And if you read this problem statement carefully, you will find out that they want us our resulting array in ascending order. Here you can see order the list ascending. So we write our queue sort function. We need a compare function for that. We we'll write a compare function here. to uh, 
arrange the array in ascending order so we will subtract a from b compare function is done after q sorting Result count should be equal to n. We need to return the array. So here we have done with the coding. We will check if this code is working. We will run our code. So sample case cases are Passed, so we'll submit our code to run the, all the sample cases. So, all the sample cases have passed, so our code is perfectly fine and running. We'll get 30 points for this problem. So, if you want more videos on HackerN, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.